everyone, welcome back to my channel. Do I have one of the primers? I need more. Okay, one well, second. <laughs> so guys, I got a request to do a makeup tutorial on the look that I had um, in the beginning and the end of my last video on this hair. I actually recorded one before I filmed that part, but I had my camera on... Um, I had my camera on manual focus and I kept like changing it. I was editing the footage when I got halfway. It was like out of focus and I was like, <laughs> I was still gonna upload it, but I was like, that's gonna annoy so many people. I remember I was watching this girl's video just like three days ago and her camera was like barely just out of focus, just like barely. But it just plays so many tricks on the eyes. I was like, you know what? I'm just, I'm not gonna put y'all through that or have y'all mad at me because of that. So trying to do a backdrop thing but i don't know i keep ironing it but i don't know maybe it's the way i have it hung up that it causes these little dips in the fabric i don't know i guess i should have just put it against the wall but these are like cement walls and you can't like poke holes in it so i was trying something that's not working hey guys so in this video i'm gonna be using some new products that i just bought that i'm like in love with like i literally bought a powder last night and i'm actually super in love with it because i tested it last night i got this box from influencer you guys know i love influencer you definitely do not have to be a youtuber or anything to sign up for influencer influencer is about like regular people just receiving boxes you don't have to um you know be a big social media person to do influencer and i'm definitely not a super big social media person and i've been using influencer for way before I had a YouTube channel. So basically, let's just talk about it real quick. It's a site that allows you to try products. It's in you boxes of products to try for free. All you have to do is write reviews. Um, you don't have to pay anything. It's completely free. Like there is no spot on the website for a credit or debit card. Everything is free. I got this Lancome Paris box and it came with four things um, in here. And the card was super pretty, y'all. Like, look at her. She is popping. So, let's talk about what I actually got. Okay, so the first thing that I noticed was they had a foundation stick in here. It has SPF um, 21. Now, the only thing that I do not like is that it's not my skin tone. It's a little darker. And you're going to see I'm going to mix this with um, another color. Because like I said, I already recorded this video. I was just out of focus last time. The same thing in a concealer. And it's called Camouflage. I got the same color. And the color that I got was Suede. Suede is definitely not my color. It's way too warm tone. It's just darker in general. You can see compared to my skin tone. Yeah, that's not working. It's way too red tone. Um, I'm more like a, I'm still a warm tone person, but mine's just more yellow, okay? Definitely not red, but yellow. So something else that I really liked was um, highlighting skin fluid, and I already used it, but this came completely white, and it's so nice. All I know is I really, really like this product. It was super nice. Um, it's just so light, and it does actually make a really great highlighter. Like, I really love this. Last but not least from Influencer, I was sent this lip gloss and it's in the color Mirrored Nude. Yeah, no further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start the makeup. I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with my Scandinavia Primer Spray. Hope this don't make my baby hairs revert back. <coughs> it tastes nasty. Now I'm going to use my e.l.f. Blemish Control Face Primer. I mean, I can't be out here, you know, gotta take all precautionary measures. I'm just gonna put this on the areas where I normally break out the most. If for some reason, I've been breaking out like right up in here, so I'm gonna put that on there too. And last but not least for primer, I'm gonna use my Benefit Professional in like my T-zone, on my chin, and on my forehead. I love the Professional. I always buy the little mini. I just cannot bring myself to pay $30 for their, you know, the full size. So I be like, I mean, these do last me a really long time, but I just cannot bring myself to pay $30 for the primer. It is really good though. Like I honestly really, really love the Benefit Professional. Like look how matte it makes my skin. Like y'all, it makes my skin uber matte, like uber matte. So yeah. I just need to stop playing and buy the um the full size. I can't. I don't want so for foundation, I am gonna do the the Lancome foundation. I just want to show y'all how like deep it is. Like when I say it's deep, it's deep. 
see that this is not my skin tone but i do want to just apply it because i do like the way it feels on i just hate that i had to get this shade you know but i actually think it was because my profile picture it had a filter on it um from back in the day because i have not updated my color in forever and i noticed they sent me the um maybelline fit me foundation and that was too dark as well so if they're going by profile pictures make sure you pick a profile picture that reflects your actual skin tone color because the colors that i have been getting do not reflect you know my skin tone so i changed my profile picture literally last night oh uh, this is my um la girl pro concealer in fun oh my gosh it's too much but anyway now this is my actual color i love fun i will wear it by itself you know fun is just a really good shade for me I'm gonna mix these two together. I will use my um, Real Technique sponges, but I don't feel like dampening them, making my hands wet because my hands get dry. So I'm just gonna use this brush. Now that I have a new camera, I think I'm gonna invest a little bit more into lighting. I'm looking at getting a ring light or another studio light because um yeah i have one studio light but i think i need one more studio or a ring light um studio lights are really ex really inexpensive i know you can get two for like 30 or 40 dollars but i already have one so i was going to get another studio light and yeah if i was near if i recorded near a window it would be so much better um i wouldn't have to do that but it's just the um new placement of my room and how i have it I don't, I don't like to record because you're going to see the kitchen and my bed in the background. And that just doesn't seem girly. This area is considered my filming space. This is where I get ready in the morning. This is where I put my clothes on at. I like this area and I set it up for this, for this, you know, little reason right here. But the lighting here is not good. So I'm going to try a studio light first and then I'm going to look into a ring light. Um, if that just doesn't have to work out because I do want to make better quality videos and I don't want, you know, to have a great camera, but, you know, lighting not be on point. I just forgot. I was supposed to do my freaking eyebrows and eyeshadow first. Like, ugh. But honestly, this color looks really, really good. I'm just going to back up. So it kind of does match my face. So it's just like the right amount of brown and the light color to make everything look really nice so yeah and now i'm going to use my bodyography skin perfector concealer it's just this really light concealer that i got from a makeup box so i'm just gonna apply a little bit of this under my eyes i really don't like the way it comes out i wish it had like an applicator or something because this just i don't know i just don't like the way this comes out not liking this brush, I'm going to go into the same brush that I use for my foundation. I don't know what to talk about. I could talk about school, but it's going pretty good. It's going well. Like, my schedule is so lit. Like, I barely, it's like I barely go to class because I take two online classes. I take I only go to one class a day at the same time every day and I oh, except on Tuesdays I have another late class but that's it like my schedule is so lit and I get um, early registration so I'm so happy so I get to register super early the thing about the fall is I'm super nervous because y'all I'm gonna be in my major like your girl is gonna be a freaking accountant student for real like all my classes are gonna be accounting no more you know baby stuff no more playtime straight you know into the field you know oh my gosh i'm just nervous okay y'all i'm super nervous about that you know because honestly i did really enjoy accounting in high school i don't know if that's really what I want to do and I think I'm just saying that because I haven't gotten in the field yet but I am glad that I'm going into it and I'm gonna see if I really still enjoy it in high school I really did love accounting guys like I loved it like I loved accounting but and I job shadow at so many firms and it just seemed right for me like I got it you know but now I've been in college and just been taking all accounting classes it's just a little scary to me I don't know, that's just me though, but 
I'm a little scared. I'm nervous, you know? But that's normal in life. I don't know. If you're always comfortable, then how are you growing? So I guess since I am uncomfortable and stuck with the idea of actually doing this, I don't know. I think that's a good thing, but I don't know. I just want to tell y'all that. But besides that, everything has been going pretty well. Um, I have an interview to reapply for R to be an RA. Um, Cause I came in, I came in being an RA in the spring semester when everyone else started in the fall. But I started in the spring with another girl. And you know, we're the new girls. Hope I do get reselected because this has been a wonderful opportunity. I just enjoy having my own space and everything like that. And just being here and a part of something bigger than myself. I was using the eCosmetics Brow Power pencil, but now I'm gonna use my ColourPop um what is this pomade stuff and bang and brunette um over it so yeah that's what's been going on with me guys super simple i'm so excited that i got this new camera i paid 519 for it on amazon but i told someone in the comments um that they could get um it cheaper on ebay ebay has bids all the time there was a camera just like the one i got it was at 455 and it came with two lenses it was pre-owned but it came with two lenses and if you know canon lenses are expensive like lenses cost about as much as a camera so the fact that you can get deals like that so i would definitely look into um you know things like that also there are deals where you can get like a whole bundle including the tripod and the camera bag like mine just included the camera um and stuff like that but I don't know I just wanted I mean the only reason I didn't get that deal was because I was really iffy and this was a lot of money like $500 is a lot of money to me I don't know what y'all think is a lot of money but $500 is a lot of money to me so I didn't want to you know I was really iffy so this camera came pretty much from Canon and I wanted <laughs> this was like a, a Canon dealer so I was like I'm just gonna buy the camera from Canon but um yeah I was afraid to get it from someone else, but I saw those deals and, you know, I really wish I would have gotten one of those deals and everything, but I was just a little nervous and scared, so yeah. It's been super cold here in Alabama, and this was our spring break, and it's been fa 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 freezing like, really, like, oh my gosh. If I could hit the beach this weekend, though, to, like, bring to make spring break have a purpose. Cause really, if I don't go to the beach, my spring break was useless. Like, I stayed in my home. Okay, so now I'm gonna clean up my eyebrows with the LA Girl concealer and cool tan. forever and I never really liked them. Now that brows are done, I'm going to do my eyeshadow. I love my Morph 350 M palette. So this is the completely matte palette. Um, I think I featured it in my favorites like forever ago, but this is my absolute favorite palette. I always do a neutral eye. So yeah, I'm just going to put some fun over my eyelids. This makes a really great primer and I'm just going to blend this out with my fingers. And I'm going to use this really, really fluffy blending, blending brush to go into the shade. This is actually the top of the palette, but yeah. I'm going to go into this color right here. And I just like to set my concealer with it just because, I don't know, it makes better. It makes all my colors blend better and stuff like that. I think I normally do a different shade. I think that one was way too dark. That's not the color I normally use. <laughs> okay, anyway. So I'm going to pick up a bunch of blending brushes because blending brushes make life so much easier. So I'm going to take this one. I use cheap eyeshadow brushes. I'm going to go into this color right here. I'm trying to recreate the look from last time. So I'm just going to 
blend this in circular motions and actually i started blending like this after seeing ashley d beauty do it and i'm like yo this works you know like i never thought to blend like in circular motions i normally go like this but i saw her doing like these circular motion things and i was like yo my eyeshadow came out really good one day and i mean it normally does come out good but i was really feeling it so so now I'm going to go into this chocolate color. It's on the same row as the other color, but it's like right here. I know I'm holding the palette all weird and stuff, but I'm just going to deepen that up a little bit. Because this one, the first color was more red tone, but this one is definitely more chocolate tone. Blend it a little up and over the crease color as well. To this color right here. I'm just going to put this on my eyelids. It's going to be a base for another color that I'm going to use on top of it. I just love how pigmented all these colors are. They are so great. And now I'm just going to use my blending brushes to blend just the harsh edges of that color out. Now I'm going to use this Urban Decay eyeshadow in Midnight Cowboy. Also, I was giving these away for whatever reason, I don't know. But they were just giving these away at the time that I went. And I was like, okay, like me and my friend, and we, we were stacking up on the free stuff. I'm just going to spray the brush, and I just dipped it into this color. I really like this color. Like, I wear it all the time now because it's just so pretty. The only thing is the fallout, so... I don't know why, but I'm kind of like winging it out this color. I don't know why. Hmm. It's being different. Now I have to do the other side. Also getting it in like my tear duct area. So now I'm just going to go back into the chocolatey brown color and just blend a little bit above this color. Now I'm going to do some black eyeliner. This one I believe is by, I think it's by NYC. But yeah. I'm going to have to do the eyeliner off camera because I suck. Okay y'all, this is the eyeliner. I kind of made it go upwards. So yeah, the last thing to do is to apply my blue eyeliner by NYX. This is the color Electric Blue. I'm just going to put this on my lower bottom part of my eye. So I'm just going to apply my Benefit Their Real Mascara. I will wear this mascara by itself with nothing else and I feel like it just makes me look more like a girl because I don't know I don't have like super long lashes but this stuff makes my lashes look really really good and I do really like this mascara <laughs> okay now it's time to finish powdering and contouring my face because I stopped to do my eyeshadow and eyebrows and stuff so I'm gonna use the same Lancome stick foundation and I'm just gonna make some contour lines <laughs> perfect for a contour color it was just really nice it's not super dark and harsh it's just like perfect just to make you look a little bronzy well for me basically i'm gonna set that with my black radiance contour palette in the medium dark kit and i'm just gonna lightly tap the contour shade because like i said this isn't super dark so i don't want to make it super dark
now that that's done, um, I got this new Morph powder, Anna powder, and I'm just want to, I'm gonna use that on the areas that I highlighted my face. I'm gonna use this big fluffy rotating brush. This is a cheek brush, but I'm gonna use it for this powder. And actually I'm just gonna pour a little bit in the lid because this comes out a lot. this sit for a minute I'm gonna go in with a really small brush and I'm just gonna contour my nose a little bit by the way that powder I'm gonna use my L'Oreal true matte in the color um W7 I love this powder and I literally just bought it yesterday but I really do like it like I like it. I like it like it. I'm gonna go in with this It Cosmetics really big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna go into this color. Almost done, I promise, but now I want to highlight my face and I'm gonna use the Lancome Click and Go. Um, I really did like this, so basically all you do is you click it and the product comes out the top. See? So I'm just going to apply some here. I like to blend it out with my finger though. I don't like to blend it with the um with the little applicator. You see that? Yeah, this color is so pretty. It's like a a pinky rosy color and I think it complements this makeup really well because the lip color that I'm gonna do is kind of similar to the eyes now on to the lips my lips are pretty moisturized but I'm actually running out this is the color hot cocoa though and the clean it's a clean color lip liner <laughs> on the lip color this is a liquid lipstick by ruby kisses i got this from the beauty supply store the other day and i bought this color it's like a gray brown color like a i don't know i feel like i keep thinking about a chinchilla <laughs> or something i don't know i think maybe that's something by mac but this color right here i actually will wear this with some clear gloss i will wear it like that also but this color is so pretty <music> 